making a music video? Hey, you guys making a music video? Action! Yes, strut, strut, strut. More flair. We're not doing that. But you look famous. Who are you? I'm with the Hollywood okay, Fit. We see the cops right here, so if you would like us to get them on you, we can definitely do that. Uh, We're working. Walk away. Walk away. I don't want no any problem. Walk away. away. But that was on TikTok. With Hollywood Fit? Yeah. Okay, cool. No, don't don't get me on camera. No, no. For those of you that don't remember, Gideon used to do pranks on YouTube. Um, actually, he is one of my favorite um, prankster. Actually, he's by far the only prankster I've ever watched on YouTube like that because the other ones are not serious or becomes too cringy, right? Recently, he has uh, stopped pranking, doing prank video, and also uh, converted to his faith. He's fully immersed in his faith. So what he did now, he's deleted a lot of his channel. Um, this is quite an interesting thing because now you're going to hear some of his topic and all the things that he regretted and everything that he used to do about this. So I, I am very interested in how this is going to go now and how it's going to go because a lot of people don't understand the backlash and everything that comes with being a prankster whether or not you end up lo making someone losing their job uh, someone being super angry and you don't know how someone will react that's the old that's the the whole thing about um, doing this kind of things is just practically seeing what those people would do or gather, uh, how their reaction would be. But sometimes some of those pranks go too far or they go in and put them in this dangerous situation that they shouldn't be in. It's all gone. This is all that's left. Let's go on the second channel. This is all that's left. Let's go on the third channel. <laughs> Nothing left. That is crazy that he deleted so much. You know, because he has been, this is how he blow up. And that's crazy also. This is how he made a lot of his money. So for deleting that, because he's constantly making money from those videos. And over the years of years and years of grinding and everything, he's made so much from that. And just to delete all that, it takes a real conviction and someone that's really thinking, yes, this is how I am. This is what I'm doing, doing. This is why I'm changing my life. For people that are confused, for the people wondering, and I feel like you guys deserve a clear, very clear and detailed reason. Why did you delete all your videos, Julian? I would say the main thing that people have hit me with since I've given my life back to Christ is why can't you follow Christ and make content? I mean, you're over here making millions upon millions of people happy. Isn't that of God? Isn't it a godly thing to put a smile on people's faces and to make them happy? And while bringing happiness to the world is of God, you can also bring happiness to the world through wickedness. You could bring happiness to the world by serving the devil, you know? Not all happiness is from God. And I know for a fact, you know, there's no Christian in the right mind that can make the case to say that the content that I was making was of God. And I'm not gonna even try to make that case, you know? And you know, if I'm gonna truly give my life over to God, I gotta also take out the wickedness that I put into the world. So it's very interesting to see his thought process on this is like thinking that like basically, oh yeah, it's definitely you can do a lot of wickedness and make people happy, you know, and which a lot of people are pissed at him, blaming him or being mad at him why he deleted so many videos and everything like that. It's a very interesting concept and a very interesting thought process when you when you go back at it and look at it and see things like this, because not a lot of people put that much thought into it. A lot of Christian who said, oh, yes, definitely, that's the smart thing to do. And a lot of people who are not religious be like, why would you do that? Uh, you've made such a hard work on this. That's your life work. Why would you ever do that? It takes a real strong conviction. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that, will not gather that in their mindset or will not even not comprehend how hard of a route or road for you to take that kind of dedication it takes for someone like that to get to because some people have never been in that uh, junction or in that crossroad i will never be in there i will never see that instead they're just thinking about the entertainment aspect of things rather than thinking of anything else more than them, their own selfish need i did a lot of crazy stuff in my videos 
But the one thing I think that haunts me the most is one of my most popular pranks was, was whenever I snuck into the Gatorade HQ and I deceived the security guards and lied and said that I was working there and that I was part of the commercial team. And I got the prank done, got millions of views off of it. The video that he's talking about, I'm gonna show it up in a second, but it's a very interesting one because that one is in itself. Three people got fired because of that whole prank and stuff. This is the thing that garnered the attention for me wanting to make this video where a lot of people tend to forget. There are people livelihood that depend on stuff, like whether or not they have family, children, you know, mother or someone, you never know what circumstances that person is going through. And for him to acknowledge that now, I know he said he got millions of views and everything like that for me, which is great. Don't get me wrong. That's what we all strive for. That's what we all want in life, especially as content creators and everything. But this one takes the cake for it because in that aspect of things, he literally got people fired for it. Not only that, he garnered benefit for me. He got millions of views. He got paid for it. A lot of that money, and which a lot of those people in their lifetime would probably never make, would never come close to, but he benefit from it. Ladies, do you know what floor Pepsi Co is on? Yeah, I got to check in. Okay. Uh, we're with the Gatorade commercial team. We just have to go talk to PepsiCo. ID? ID? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We gotta go shoot a commercial for them. Mm -hmm. So do they know you coming up there? Yes, ma'am. If you're not in the system, I have to call upstairs. No, yeah, you're gonna have to call upstairs. This was kind of like last minute. Just tell them we're with the commercial team. All right, Future Francis here um, doing the editing and everything. And just on that clip alone, I just want to say something real quick. Yeah. Those three ladies got fired, those security ladies got fired and everything like that, which was insane by the same standard of everything, because I just want to put that to know, like the seriousness of some of these things that will happen sometimes in people's life. And we tend to forget it, right? We tend to forget how people are and stuff like that. I know he was doing, doing his his job, too, as a content creator, creating content for the people. But at the same time, that happened. Like, just, just, let's just uh, be a realistic thing. And I just want to put that in there and get through this video. So hope you guys enjoy it. We just make sus or sexual jokes. What you guys do? Oh, we're doing Pornhub right now. Who? Pornhub. Oh, fuck. I'm putting me on a Pornhub, would you? You got some hot ladies? Huh? No, dude. Oh, fuck. Yeah. What are you doing? What the Bro, why are you arching like that? What the hell? You gotta arch your back. Bro, why you arch your back? It's an arm movement. What the fuck? Hold on to me tight. Say buy Inali's new album on three. I've been a meat guzzler my whole life, so instead of gobbling meat, I want to gobble, you know, some eggplants and stuff. Yeah, when you put it that way, I know exactly what you mean. Jeez, yo, oh my god, that's crazy he said things like that. Yeah, but to show you like how far he's come, there's a lot more in the video. If you guys want to see, you can go see ALC else and the apology videos and tell you why he deleted his old china but like it's crazy to tell me like that's how far it's come to come back and reflect upon everything like that is insane to me but it's just it just shows you like how how far and mature he's come and how well he's taking this how serious he's taking this because a lot of people might be like, oh, this might be his ultimate prank. This might be his ultimate haha -ha moment. So it's like, no, this guy is fully devoted himself. He's turned his life around and stuff. It might be for the better because you never know how far this thing can go and to a point where he might put himself in danger and stuff. He has done the footwork. He has done everything that he needs to do. Hopefully, like his followers stick with him and they actually keep following him and just on this journey, on this part of life of himself. Because I know a lot of people might just be like, oh, well, we knew him for this and this. Now he's changed. Now we don't want to do that anymore. But honestly, that's for, probably for the best for him. And subconsciously, he's probably much more better off. He's much more uh, relaxed now. He's having fun. He's being himself. So I don't know how a lot of people might find that or take a distaste or whatever in that case moment. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think and whether or not if this was the best move for him, it was the right move for him or anything like that. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.